All right, we're gonna get a ride on a classic Jimmy bus. What year was this built? 1953, was it part of Twin City Lines? Okay. Yeah. And this is gonna be our driver here. <laughs> There's the emergency exit. of the bus. This one's uh, 10 feet tall. 10 feet yeah. even? Yeah. It's, the it's, new ones are 10 uh, foot too. Yeah, um, it's it's about the same and yeah, I know your hybrids got more than that on them. Yeah. Uh, but it's... Uh, well, uh, yeah, our hybrids are, are 11, 11 feet. Yeah. 102 wide? 102 wide. This is one of the first ones that was, you know, the 102 versus... And it'll seat 51. 51, yeah. 51 and, and 5 is the model number and the first two digits were the passenger capacity. The last two were, uh, well, it's a TDH, which is yeah. Transit Diesel Hydraulic Transmission. Okay. And 51, how many passengers? And then 05 was the version of that 51 passenger design. I see. You don't happen to know how much it weighs, do you? It's, it's under 20,000 pounds. Oh, is it? Uh, um, can we get a shot of the doors working? They're mm -hmm. the accordion doors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The they folded in the middle. The back one folds, too. Yeah, let me get the back ones from inside, because that's how you'd see them normally. Yeah. You want to close them then, and I'll... And our back doors were also accordion. And the driver worked them, you didn't push them open. And back in the old days, you didn't have a nice little chime. When somebody wanted to get off, they'd pull the buzzer. And it kept going as long as they hung on. <laughs> How would you like that if you were a driver these days? <laughs> Here we are, we're gonna get on the bus. And then there's a classic old fare box. I don't think I have any change to put in the fare box. But it didn't count the money. You just put the money in and it looks like you cranked the lever and down it would go. Here's a shot of the driver's compartment on the controls. I wish I had some change I could put in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably some down in here. This is the old one. Huh? Yeah, it looks like you crank it. Yeah, they still need change. Uh, I remember the, the ones yeah, like that, but they were automatic when you yeah. dropped the money. We have, uh, we have one of the other buses that has one of the motorized ones. The, the 13 99 Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so you put it down in there and crank it, and then there's a, a uh, numbers over here. It goes up and it says how much money was put in there. Uh, okay, we got a good shot here. Hey, welcome aboard, everyone. Thanks for coming out to the Roundhouse today and yeah, going on our uh, history tour here. We'll be riding today on a 1953 General Motors Transit bus, and uh, this bus was uh, part of the local version of the National effort to uh, get rid of streetcars back in uh, years gone by and uh, this particular bus was one of 500 that was bought by the local transit company between 1952 and 54 as they're getting ready to shut down all the streetcars. Uh, the last streetcar ran here in St. Paul in 1953 and uh, 
next year in 54 was the end of it in Minneapolis. And from then until the uh, Blue Line started here in uh, Minneapolis here, it was an all bus operation for those years in between. But they didn't put any power steering in. Uh, so uh, I will be giving you a story as we go here, but when we get to corners here, it's usually going to be interrupted because it takes both hands on the steering wheel here. Thank you. 
so I can see them get filmed of driving better. You missed, uh, made some use of the material in the middle of the house, you know. Yeah. So the only building that is too great, so it's kind of a strange thing for us to be. I think that when we move out of our house, we have it, uh, torn down. And so all our adjustments on it. See how well this bus coast is on the brake the whole time, not the gas. Now we got the retarders, so they slow down, so we just take we, uh, the gas. We just coasted the whole way. They talk about building on our left. And that is uh, a building that Hill had constructed as part of his railroad business. Uh, he built the Empire Builder Road out from here to the West Coast. That was very successful. There was a competing company called Northern Pacific uh, that had a similar route. Uh, in the same direction, and eventually Hill came to own both these companies, and uh, this building here on our left here, after we go through this intersection, uh, he had constructed the houses to two railroad companies. But at that point in history, uh, the government was pretty wary of monopolies and antitrust activities and that kind of thing, and they were not uh, real secure on that idea. Ultimately, they came to a... Uh, Compromise where the building was constructed with a concrete dividing wall uh, in the interior. And there was no connection between the two companies uh, inside the building except in Hill's office. And by doing that, they were able to satisfy the government that these companies were independent enough that they weren't going to be a monopoly. So, pass yeah, under some of the rail tracks here on the way to Mississippi River. Then along in the 1920s, uh, one of the next big developments was uh, the car companies started to get cars more uh, reliable and uh, affordable to people, and these people of course started buying them. That started to uh, take away some of the ridership on the streetcar for a period of their uh, time. Uh, then the, the depression came along and that helped with some of the uh, ridership return. And World War II especially, as people were uh, concerned about uh, not using as many resources and things, the uh, ridership went way up on uh, streetcars at that time. But after World War II then, uh, we'll, we'll see ahead on uh, getting the cars going. And a lot of companies that uh, realized there was money to be made by getting people out of street cars and into personal cars. Uh, and, uh, the natural effect that just the cars contributed and then uh, the companies helping out, you know, did away with street cars and uh, the profitability, I guess most importantly, of the transit system because uh, most of the transit 